and and this is the thing is that how prepared are you to actually feel that everything in your life that you think is real is actually just an illusion? And lose everything. And how prepared are you to actually live that? If that feeling of bliss and everything is an illusion and you really do have baggage but you don't feel it, you don't want to know about it, yeah. I mean... So you're worried that the feeling of bliss might be an illusion? Yes, that's right. Okay. So that's one of your fears? No. It's not. <laughs> the only way you will know whether a feeling of bliss is illusion is for you to feel the feeling of bliss and then you'll know whether it was an illusion or not. Isn't it the only way for you to know whether anything is an illusion or not? So, for example, how do you know if you love? Isn't it? Because you can feel it inside of you, and then you know. You can't describe it, you don't think it. It's a feeling inside of you, right? There's different degrees of love too. True, but now you're intellectualising. Right? Because why do we want to do that? Why do we want to do it? Because we want something to compare with. Our mind screams at us for something to compare. Something to balance things out. Something to know that I'm on the right path, that I'm actually doing the most logical thing. And this is what I'm saying is the soul, the real you, is the only thing that is able to show you what's logical. Right? It's the only thing that can do that. That was the exact question that came up after seeing you last week, was how will I know, how do I know, truly know, which is absolute God and which is just, you know, six, seven, eights, nines, whatever, plane. How will I know which is really, truly God? Oh, can I just go back to this at yeah. some stage in the future? Because <laughs> we want to look at some practical things you can do. Um, at the start, you won't. Okay. Here's God. <coughs> Here's your soul. The connection there was, right? which is the connection of truth, isn't it? Yeah. So it's all to do with truth. Yeah. You can't maintain a connection with God unless you're in emotional <laughs> truth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then the divine love flows through that connection to you. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Right. <coughs> divine love brings a feeling, every time it flows through you, it brings a feeling of Yes. Right. Now, what you're really saying is, how do I know that that's God I'm talking to? Yeah. How do I know it's not just some spirit? Yes, because higher spirits can help you feel peace and harmony and feel good and blissful. And mm. But can you see that your question is born out of a mistrust? Mm. Absolutely. What's the mistrust? Mm. <coughs> of my feeling of knowing God. Well, it's actually the mistrust is of God. Because what you're saying is you're, you're mistrusting that when you long to God for love, ah. that you're not going to get it from God, you're going to get it from someone else. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Right? So in, our, in reality, the emotion that you need to feel is, I don't actually trust that God set up things in such a way yeah. that He wants to well, answer me. Answer me. Yeah. Thank you.